and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create the yin and yang symbol. It's quite simple. All we need is the ellipse tool. Hold control when you drag that so that you've got a perfect circle. I'll make that black and I'll make sure that it doesn't have a stroke. So only a fill. Now I press control D to copy it and I'll control when I drag that down. Make sure snapping is enabled and you need this function. The snap smooth nodes and ellipses so that we can snap these two circles to each other. So we've got the perfect alignment here. Then use ellipse again, I give it a different color. Go to the center point, which should be marked with an X. Then hold control and shift. Go to the cursor tool and put it in the background. Now hold again, control and shift. Drag it downwards until it snaps. Now it has the right size. Let me make the bottom white, it should be white and the top one is black as far as I know. And we create two more circles. Hold control when you do that to have a circle. And now we need to align it properly. Use the cursor tool for that and go to object and align and distribute. Hold shift and click on the black one. It's the last selected, so relative to last selected should be used and then align it horizontally and vertically to the center. We'll repeat the process at the bottom. Just press Ctrl D for the one at the top. I let me size that down a little bit. I hold Ctrl and Shift when I do that. Let me make the bottom one black. I shift click on the white one, the bigger one. It's the last selected and I can align that horizontally and vertically. Now shift click on the white one and the red. Go to Path and division. Let me make this one white again. And then the black one, shift click on a red path division. I'll make the top one black again. And now we've created separations for the red one and we can shift click on the left red and the white and the red on the right side is not selected and we can unionize on the path. I'll repeat that for the black one. Let me select it all and give it a black stroke. So hold shift and click on black at the bottom menu. And here's our yin and yang symbol created in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.